Hello everyone, welcome to some basic tech and today we will talk about how you can use variables, it means environment variables. So uh, whenever we are going to use any default application, so we need uh, environment variables. So why basically we use environment variables? So environment variables allow us to keep values on our local and production environments distinct and safe because we develop applications and this is required so that's why we can understand an environment as the context in which code is being used executed so yes we, need, we required environment variable now uh, let's go for some commands and check let's how we can do it and how we can set java environment variable today right so for checking all environment variables we need to uh, we need to execute command in print e and v right so we can just find out all environment variables here in linux right and uh, once you do grab and you want to check any command any variable then you can use this so see this one the all kind of variables can be filtered like this using grep and if you want to filter with the your own way so you can also use echo and then your environment variable whatever you want to see just like uh, xdz then we can use xdz xdz is showing here so uh, just like that you can see whatever environment you want to see and uh, now we are going to move ahead to so how we can set environment variable of java application right so for doing this we need to do some more things and uh, let's go ahead it's clicking cleaning cleaning my display okay so uh, for doing this first we need to check if we have installed java in your operating system or not so java hyphen version okay so now see we have installed uh, open jdk 1.8 version here and uh, in CentOS 7 operating system and now we need to go for creating Java but before going that we need a path that we can set for variable right and uh, how we can find out that path this is the important thing so uh, just finding out that path we need to execute one more command that is very important and uh, let me show you how you can execute it so just type update hyphen alter natives hyphen hyphen config java right once you type this command you will see the full path of this application where this is being utilized so we just only need to copy this path right once you copy this path use control shift c to copy this and then come back and type export then java underscore home equal sign and then paste the same value right once you paste the same value yeah, only just we need to press enter and it will set but this is a temporary right so for doing this as a permanent we need to do the same entry in our one of file that is bash profile so this is a kind of a demo purpose i will show you one more thing uh, echo java underscore home see so this is the java home is available here and uh, this is the case sensitive so we always keep environment variable in caps format so yes just make sure whenever you're creating any environment variable just make it in capital format and now let's go to add this variable in that file so we can use as a persistent instead of temporary right so let's copy this command directly instead of executing single single things so i just copied and now we need to go to edit vi dot bash profile right 
so uh, currently i am in my home directory so you can just execute this on your home directory or in your root directory so let's uh, use vi i am just using vi editor you can use any editor to edit your bash profile so dot bash profile and here i'm going to add the same value I have to paste it here and then control press cap wq and then save it cat dot bass let me so cat dot bash so see the, the entry is already exist here because we did that and uh, this is how you can just do it your java entry on your permanent bass underscore profile file for using environment variable okay so if you have any question if you have any doubt you can directly ask me over via comment section and uh, if you want to unset this java environment profile then you can just do the one command that is unset then java and see unset that's it you don't you don't need to do anything you just only need to use this command to unset this java profile and uh, just remove the entry from this bash file also for doing this we also need to do go there and uh, use the same file go and delete the entry save it that's it so you learn today how we can set environment variable and how we can how we can do it for java and uh, how we can remove it right so if you like the video kindly do subscribe like and comment